How's it going everybody? We're going to take a look at clock blocks, which is right there. Let's open it up. As you can see, it starts up pretty quickly. And I got signed into Game Center there, which we'll talk about in a second. There are three game modes, Quest, Survival, and Classic. Well, let's just take a look at Quest to start. In this mode, there's 40 levels. Let's just pick one. Uh, let's start with level 15 here. So as you can see, there's a series of clocks on the screen. And when you touch the screen, wherever the arrow inside the current clock is pointing, that's where the bullet is going to fire. So the object is basically to shoot from clock to clock. And if you shoot off the edge like that, you die. There's also one more rule. And if you see that little pie chart thing it's filling up, if it comes all the way around one revolution, you die. I'll show you that one more time. See, so there it is. And I'm out of time. So it's pretty tricky. Let's take a look at one more level on this mode. We'll look at uh, 18. So it's pretty tricky because you have only a limited amount of time to fire and you have to destroy all the clocks on the screen and you can't make any mistakes. But there's no order so you can do them in any order that is fitting for you. And we're almost done with this level here. So that's what happens when you beat a level. Um, in this level, you have to unlock each level before you can get to the next one. So I've beaten 19 of the 40 levels. So let's go back and take a look at survival mode. In this mode, there's four difficulties. So we'll just look at the hardest difficulty and you'll understand the premise of the game. In this one, when you destroy a clock, another one appears. And so you're just trying to stay alive as long as possible and you get one point for each clock and your, your score is reflected up here on the top right and there's a high score on the screen which is 75 in this case but this is pretty fun because you can go as long as you possibly can and get the high score and keep getting better and better um, because there's game center leaderboards in this each difficulty level has a series of scores that are in the world which is pretty cool you can compete against other people and let's just take a look at the other mode the last mode classic also four difficulties but in this mode there's just a, a big grid and it's kind of the set board each time and the object is to just clear as many screens as possible in this case if i were to clear this screen i would get one point and then however many screens in a row I beat that's how many points I would get so this is cool because you kind of expect what's gonna happen each time and you can keep going as long as possible so right there see my best run is one on this device and I now am currently in the middle of a run of one but that could increase over time and you could check out the leaderboards here it shows you the all-time scores for like people all over the world so there's just you know some instructions here pretty simple and then if I go back to down here at the left there's a settings where you can turn the sound on and off the music on and off and you can also like pick a your favorite color it'll bring up that family of colors or if you drag it all the way to the right which is the default it will give you a random color every time so there it is, clock blocks on the App Store, it's 99 cents and it's worth a shot.